So, good day everyone. Um, I was assigned to solve problem 1.32 in the book, which is found in lesson 3 of the book. And for this question, as um, two wooden members of uniform cross-section are joined by the simple scarf splice shown, or as shown in the figure, knowing that the maximum allowable tensile stress and the glute splice is 75 psi, determine A, the largest load P that can be safely supported, and B, the corresponding shearing stress in the splice. So, um, first step is um, we will draw a free body diagram. So, um, the first step is we sketch or we draw the free body diagram or the FBD. So here we have a 60 degree angle and we have a force force P acting on the body in upward position and um, there's a normal force P cosine theta and they're acting parallel to it which is the P sine P sine theta and there's then perpendicular to the 60 degrees is the p cosine of theta and so when we have that we know that a naught is equal to 3 inches which is the because it is length times width so 3 inches right here and the width which is 5 inches times 5 just so a naught is equal to 15 inches squared so um, in this case this is a theta right here a theta and this right here is the a naught So when we draw this 60 degree angle right here, um, so 60 degrees, um, the opposite side which is the A naught and the hypotenuse would be A theta, theta and then therefore um as what we've learned in our trigonometry or um freshman years uh sine 60 degrees or the sakotawa so we'll use so which is opposite over hypotenuse so sine 60 degrees is equal to the opposite which is the a not over the hypotenuse which is the longer side of the triangle a theta then so um in this case um the a naught is 15 inches squared as what we've solved earlier which is this one 15 inches squared and the unknown here is the a theta a theta so solving for a theta um a theta is equal to 15 inches squared all over sine 60 degrees so um that's equal to 10 squared of 3 inches squared and so when we know that a theta is equal to 10 squared of 3 inches squared um so to find the normal stress we know that the normal stress normal stress is equal to n oh, this is n a theta 
and to find the shear stress this is V over a theta theta the normal stress is N over a theta and the shear stress is V over a theta so to solve for a either you could either solve for the shear stress which is this and the normal stress so in this case i'll just plug in for the normal stress and actually it's the maximum allowable tensile stress is actually the normal stress so we plug in 75 psi 25 psi So, 75 PSI is um, equal to, or 75 L pound per square inch is equal to P sine 60 degrees all over 10 square root of 3 inches squared. So, in this case, um, is pounds per square inches so 75 times uh, 10 square root of 3 divided by sine of 60 so p is equal to 1500 pounds or when converted to kips um, since 1 kips is equal to 1000 pounds so the final answer is 1.5 kips so um since we know already the a or the maximum normal stress or allowable tensile stress um so we already know p so we could solve for the corresponding shear stress which is um required in b so the corresponding shear stress in this case is equal to a theta is 10 square root of 3 root of 3 inches squared and b now is equal to p cosine 60 and in this case is 1500 pounds the p here is equal to what we have earlier which is 1.5 kips or 100 1500 pounds so that's equal to 1 1500 pounds times cosine of 60 divided by 10 square root of 3 and just squared so the answer that's 43.3 psi and this is the final answer for or the shear stress for b